Hello, hello, brothers and sisters. Uh, my name is Onvald. We are here today to do some tutorials for ArchCAD. So today we will start our series of customizing a template for ArchCAD. So let's start our tutorial. Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe on my channel so you can like you can comment so that youtube can recommend my videos to others please guys just do some help for me by subscribing so i can continue to do those type of contents now we open the architect so if you open for the first time uh, we'll go to here to the new and then we come to template hatchcat 23 and then we hit new so we can start our customization uh, on the first time if you open hatchcat this tab here will be hided so for example it will be the sketch uh, the 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 the, the. hatchcat will be like this and then if you want to see this navigation here on the right side you you click here on the left click and then you come here to the left click and then you say show navigation and then this tab will stay here so what you will do now is to go to, is to go to the option we open the pro, uh, project preferences we come to the units that is the first thing that we must do and then for me the default one is pretty okay because i use millimeters and then for the areas i use the square meters so this for me for millimeters decimal zero square meter decimal two uh, cube meter decimal two decimal degrees uh, decimal zero layout units millimeter decimal zero decimal two is fine for me because i use those uh, uh, type of units and then you hit ok if you change the way you like it and then we come again on the option we come to the uh, uh dimensions here on the dimensions i use plain millimeters and then millimeter decimal zero off and then you say okay and then now if we draw some wall i can come to the this uh, measurements i can measure from here to here and then i have this type of measurements so now i can delete this it's just for an example and then to change the colors of those measurements we come here to the measure and then we go to the settings and then we'll we'll open this uh, tab if you check here this tab i don't like a uh, fancy colors most of the time i use black and red so those are colors that i use and then and then is the colors that are recommended here in south africa so now i can select this one not the long lines so and then i can here to select to change the pen color and then the black one the number one is fine and then black black and then here we change to black black yeah i think now everything is fine uh, and then we change here to the middle one and then we hit okay 
So now if we draw some wall here, then we can take our measurements. We can measure from here to here. And then you see now, it's more uh, pronounced, not something that is a fancy colors, blue, what, what, uh, will make our plane look ugly. Then we can delete this. So, the other thing we do now is to come on this pushing here to the store one. If we want to do some changes on the stores, here is shooting one store for foundation. Or if you want to add another store, so we use this part here. And then we can right click here on this part. We can come to the story settings. For me, I want to add a foundation part so that not every plane that I open, I must configure this store now. So the thing I will do, I will add another one. So I will say insert below and then I change this to the 900. Uh, this is depend on what type of the house that you are doing. If you are doing a triple story, if you are doing it. so, this is is uh, uh, is not uh, something that sometimes we find here is one point five one meter. So, it depend on what type of the house that you are doing, and then you can hit OK. Now. We have the our first uh, our first uh, uh, series of the our first part of the series. So the other thing I will show you on the next video how to customize to create a customize uh, uh, customize a wall something like that so on the next series i will show you that uh, those customization guys thank you for watching my videos and sorry for my language because i am not good on english so please guys be patient with me on the future i will be a little bit better so thank you for watching my videos. Thank you. Thank you guys. Bye. I love you all. Sorry, the other thing that I forget is to save our template. Save S. And then I have created other so you can you can uh, write your own name and then me i want to save on top of this one and then i hit save yes now everything is done so on the next video we'll do the customization of walls on the next customization of window something object yeah until we have a complete uh, template to work on it and then thank you guys for watching bye